We got two gigs already. Oh yeah, two gigs already. It's recording raw video because uh, I can't figure out how to make this program compress properly. So here we have an 820-3437 motherboard from Sunny here, and we have to see what's wrong with it. So well, what have you measured so far, Sunny? Uh, all the S5 lines and the S3 lines. So what have you noticed? The S5s are there, the S3s is not. So what, what creates the S3s? The PCH. What signal from the PCH creates the S3s? I don't know. Okay, which, which S3 did you measure that was missing? Uh, the 3V2. PP3V42? Yeah. No, that's no, that's no, not, not an V4 S3. PP3V2. PP3V3 something? something? You're thinking maybe of PP3V3 S3? PP3V3 S3 maybe. That was what you were thinking of, I bet. Let's try and find that. <coughs> Let's oh, open board view that actually works. Get this. I can see what's there. Okay. Now PP3V3 S3. What creates this? I don't know. I can't find it. Let's see. PP3V3S3 comes from PP3V3S5 over here. Hmm. All right. So you said PP3V3S5 is present? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what's going to turn this on? P3V3S3 underscore enable. Did you check for that? I don't think I have that on my schematic. This? Come, you don't have that on your schematic? You should go to your schematic provider and complain about that. All right. So PP3, P3V3S3 ena enable comes from PM Sleep S4L. Let's see if we have PM Sleep S4L. I have a good feeling it's not. All right, so we have a bunch of different places here that we can measure PM Sleep S4L. <clears throat> All right, PM Sleep S4L. I'm paying back my debt to Sonny from the iPhone screens. And we have zero. So PM Sleep S4 all comes from what, Sonny? <clears throat> Definitely the... Well, technically, I should charge him for a training session, no? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. So well, what do we charge a day? <laughs> 600, so we can prorate it for two hours. <laughs> yeah, so how about we just leave it even? Instead of me owing you for iPhone screens, <laughs> you owe me like 200 bucks. <laughs> Sonny. Um, Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Steve. Steve is the reason my credit score is what it is. <laughs> okay. So PM Sleep S4L comes from the PCH. PCH. What tells the PCH what to do? Uh, <clears throat> SMC. What tells the PCH what to do? Okay, when you have a PC computer and you want to overclock it or do something with it, what, what, what tells uh -huh. the BIOS tells it what to do? Okay, so here let's 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 see what. What does your BIOS area look like, Sonny? Cock and balls. All right, so let's see. What are those two supposed to measure here? Which are those four? So the two on the top are the ones that are really nasty. All right, so we have R6126 and R6125. So let's go to R6126, R6126, and R6125. Those are supposed to both be 43 ohms. Let's see if we get 43 ohms. Who am I kidding? You're not going to see that on the camera anyway. So let's see. Nope. Boo, 43 ohms. 
and 43 ohms. Imagine that. Hmm. Look at the chip that's responsible for PP3V3S5. Look at that nasty capacitor in the bottom left. And also look at that little corroded point over there. Let's see what that's for. The measure is fine. P5VP3V3VREG3. That's C7503. That looks like shit. So, and also above it, so this, that resistor, P3V3S5 ENR. PP3, let's, let's see here, PP3V3S5, is that actually here? Yes, Adobe, I know your PDF reader is, the useless ass PDF reader is available, and I don't care. All right, so let's see, is PP3V3S5 actually here? This is starting to be, look a little hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Yo, that doesn't, that is not there. I'm getting a new multimeter. <coughs> and it's not there. Sonny, you lied. It was there. Sonny, you fucking lied. I measured it three times. You lied. Look at the, what the, what, what do you mean it's there? It's there. All the S5 is there. Mofo? <coughs> that S5 is not there. I What's mean, this? Your multimeter measures voltage when you have the fucking probes in the air. <laughs> okay. Mofo. Zing. It's time to erase some nasty shit. It's all right. Eh? PP3V3S5 is needed for the PCH to send out anything because that all works in 3.3 volt logic and 3.3 volts is provided by PP3V3S5. <laughs> Your multimeter measures voltage in the air, Sonny. <laughs> Not a safe place to live. Okay. That stuff looks like shit. I'm not really going to bother looking into what a lot of that stuff does when I can just... It'll take more brain power to figure out what that does than the brain power required to just simply take it off. I need to conserve my brain. Well, just always said, if it looks bad and looks good, it's good. Uh, we'll give it another second to heat up. Donor pile. This thing is a monster. It's a monster. What? I don't think it is, but I don't care. I don't feel like replacing that stuff and plugging it back in just to realize that a two cent component that I didn't replace is also bad. So these two can go. See how see how this is nasty on the screen, Sonny? But I'm tweezing. Yeah. If that exploded, what do you think happened to the chip that, that it's going to? It was shut off. Probably something nasty. All right, look at that. Go well. Alrighty. I love how they didn't give me a plunger with this flux. Is that a micro pencil you're using? Yeah. <laughs> Since I bought it to review it and I kind of liked it so I didn't return it. <laughs> There's no need to return it. I think it's really cool. It has this. This, this is the, the, the awesome tip. I don't want to ruin your shoes, Sonny. They look really cool. Thank you. All right. Look at this thing. This blade. This blade is awesome. So we're just going to revitalize the pads that look nasty. Hello? 
See, we create a little bridge over that section that's destroyed. Angry iPhone customers? Oh, well. Two thousand four. <laughs> it does it have colors on it? I mean, does it, is it though? Is it the iMac that has the coloring, like with the TV looking shit? Let's just scrape away the the trace a little here. Get the dirt to get sucked up onto the iron and away from the board. All right. This thing's a monster, man. Weller WHA 900. Monster. Fucking wire. Watch your foot. I love this little jagged edge tip. It's my new favorite tip. If you want to do point and do something really fine, you can just use the edge of it like this. But then if you want a lot of thermal mass, you know, you have something with a lot of thermal mass and you just want to get rid of a bridge, you can just hold it on the side. So you don't have to keep changing your tips for the application. It does everything all in one. Does it heat up high enough for you to use it? Yeah. So it looks like Look, it. I mean, it removed a huge bridge, and it's a it's a micro pencil, a little forty five watt, forty eight watt actually, tiny little. What was the regular one? How many watt is that? Sixty five. The Weller micro pencil is sixty five, and then the regular one is eighty. This one's sixty five for the big iron and forty eight for the tiny one, but it doesn't matter. It still does it. It works. That's all I care about. Removing the tiny components with the larger nozzle is harder, but it still does it. I don't, I don't want any of them, those screens that you got that Tony doesn't like. Wait, where'd you buy those screens that Tony doesn't like again? I picked it. Why doesn't he like them? It's a liner box. Yeah, I, I bought a bunch of 
No, I bought a bunch of like really obsessive iPhone screens and I fixed it. <laughs> the black one you can't see, right? But the white one, when you turn it on, you see the little black border. It's like it's all no, it's all shifted. Like oh, like the screen is too left. They never, they never uh, aligned it. Yeah. That sounds very e tech of them. That sounds. You know, I hear they took on somebody from eTech recently. Yeah. Maybe the quality, <laughs> maybe the quality came over. Huh? Nice oh yeah. My other one fucking broke. Really? I had somebody asked why do you use that P that funny the coat hanger one. So I did a video comparing the microphones, and I said the DPA is the best, and I'm always going to be using this. And it literally died after that fucking video. Did, did I tell you why, <laughs> why, why I left on Louis' birthday? Yeah, I texted you. You never responded. I don't know. I don't want to burn any bridges. There was some. There was some outsourcing that bur that 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 almost caused Sunny's store to get broken into. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. And now this one over here doesn't look very nice. That has to get covered in solder so that it... Is that missing another one right there? Or? Nah. Alright, we still probably have more work to go. But at least let's see if PP3V3 S5 is back. That would be nice. Do we have PP3V3 S5? Of course we do, because we have a fan spin. A fan spin. Steve, what are you invoicing Sonny for this? How many iPhone 6 screens did we take and like prorate it to, uh, let's see, what does Open Broadcaster say for board repair lesson? <laughs> In 25 minutes of board repair lesson? <laughs> oh, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, sudden death syndrome. Sudden death by fucking liquid that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of 1466 boards that like just dies out of nowhere. Yeah, it's crazy how when you spill liquid on them, they just stop working. Yeah. What the fuck, Apple? Uh, might as well make the chip even on the board since you're going to be paying whatever ridiculous rate Steve has for you on the invoice. Let's make the chip straight. This thing goes really hot. Look at how high that goes in heat, Sonny. Yo, you're Thanksgiving my boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving. You know what? Me trying to move this over and make it straight is just going to wind up killing it. So that's a bad idea. Yeah. You feel that? This thing's a fucking beast. Yo, it's fine. It's I, I, I believe you when you said good. All right. So what, what was even wrong? I didn't even bother looking on the schematic to see what was actually wrong with it. Let's see. So the caps that were look nasty looking were, what were they for? You know how much time I could have saved if you just told me PP3V3 S5 was it there? So let's see, I, C75. Voltimeter, always measure voltage there. Okay, so this over here, C7503. This is for the LDO inside the chip. Then that capacitor is going between that and ground. Hmm. That's odd. Why? That should not be critical. Well, I guess if the... Hmm. Let's look in context here. Yeah, I'm really not sure why that would be critical. Let's see. It just works. It has the, the effect. Maybe it just means the chip itself had exploded. R75. I almost want to go back in time and unfix it and see, but nah. R7552, S5 power enable. So that resistor being burned definitely would have done something here. R7552, the, uh, the chip wouldn't have been told to turn on. The chip itself was probably bad, so yeah. That's that. Here, go, go to Steve to pay your invoice. 